Damn it, Kate. What? What does it matter? It matters because it proves that you were ten minutes away from here only a half an hour after the time of death, when you had said that you were miles away. I lied to protect you. This is, this is gonna cost me my career. Not that you'd care. What's a career to someone that's just murdered their husband? Are you kidding me? It fucking stinks in here. I'm sorry, it's just the tattoo room. There's been problems with the drains all day, and, um... Is it really that bad? Yeah, it's vile. Uh, right, I'll just try and light a joss stick or get some air freshener or something to make it a bit fresher in here. Um, God, do you think a place like this would actually be hygienic? It is not just a date. It's a first date. You can't take back a first impression, you know. He asked you out, right? Well, no. He told Sue, the sodding receptionist, that he thought I was attractive. And so she organised the whole thing. But the point is, he likes you already. Exactly! Huh? He likes me. But he doesn't know me. He's going to have some kind of image in his head of, of what I'm like. He's going to think that I'm smart and sexy and funny and not all freaking out about this. What, what I'm trying to say here is I think I love you. My heart, my, my chest feels like it can barely contain it. Like it, it doesn't belong to me anymore, it belongs to you and marrying someone just because he's a lord. That's worthy of me, is it? Look, Father, as terrible as it was, helping the wounded made me feel useful. For the first time, it made me feel more than just a title with some land attached. Martin and Lucy had us round for dinner, and then four cheap bottles of red wine later, Lucy takes Tim to the bedroom and I'm stuck in the living room with Martin. Can't believe it. I wasn't even first choice. Next thing, I hear them going at it in the bedroom. I couldn't take it, and I've avoided them ever since. I sort of told him we were interested. And are you? Not now. <laughs> Better tell him then.